Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at addition and subtraction of matrices. And over the course of the next and following tutorials, I'll be looking at different operations that can be performed on matrices. And later on, we're going to be looking at how to apply matrices in simultaneous equation and other real life scenarios. So let me just cover some basic concepts first before we move into addition and subtraction of matrices. So basically, you can see that matrix is a rectangular array of numbers that can be enclosed within a bracket. For example, if you have something of this nature, oh, that's a wrong bracket. So we say bracket is an array of numbers that can be enclosed within brackets. So if you have something of this nature, have a bracket here. Eh? So I have two, three, four, seven. So we simply refer to this as matrices. Just some asking before we jump into addition and subtraction of matrices. So we can also have just a single matrix, a single row, a single column matrix. One, two, three. So this is also a matrix. The same way you can have a matrix in this form. Seven, zero, negative four. And it can be as you no, know, the length and the breadth can be as long as possible. You can have a three by two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in matrices, we refer to this, the line that runs like this as the row, and then the line that runs like this as the column. So this is the row, and we have this to be the column. So we're going to be considering this in the following tutorials. Look at the concept of road, concept of color, when we are numbering and naming our matrices. So that's just a little bit of housekeeping as regards what matrices before we jump straight into the tutorial. And then lastly, let's look at how we name the elements of a matrix. If you have a matrix A, you can, you can have this to be A11, A12, A13, A13. Oh, sorry, this is A21 and A22. So, as I mentioned, we have rows and we have columns in matrix. And whenever I want to name or categorize a matrix, it's usually in form of how many rows and how many columns. So, it's showing this form row times column. So, in this case, now for this particular matrix, the one I have here, I have two rows and three columns. So, I can say this. A two by three matrix, two row, three columns. So the same thing here. This number you just simplify the row and the column of each element. So a one one belongs to row one, column one. A one two belongs to row one, column two. A two one belongs to row two, column one, and a two two belongs to row two, column two. So that's basically some bit of housekeeping as regards to the basic concept of matrix. So now jumping straight to Addition and subtraction of matrices. Let's look at an example. If you have a matrix A, which is given as here, yeah, we are looking at a two by two matrix. That's two rows and two columns. Two, negative four, and three, one. And you have matrix B, which is expressed as one, four, negative two, three. So you have both matrix A and matrix B to be a two by two matrix. And you have to perform the following operation. So I'm to find A plus B. Also, we have to find A minus B and B minus A. So you have the matrix A and B, and then we have to find A plus B, A minus B, and B minus A. So if you are given this kind of question how do you approach this and what are the things i should take note of so the first thing that we should note is that you can't add or support a matrix if the dimensions are not equal so if you are dealing with matrix a and matrix b if matrix a is three by three matrix matrix b also has to be three by three matrix before you can add or subtract them so take note of that you can't add or subtract two matrices of different dimension they have to be the same dimension before you can add or subtract them so now going straight to the question that we have you have matrix A and matrix B, and first is to find A plus B. 
So how do we do this? This is very simple. We simply perform addition and subtraction of matrix elements wise. So this is A11. This is A11 for matrix B. So we add these two together. The same way we do while adding normal scalar numbers. And then we do that for each element of the two matrices. So to get A plus B, we simply do something of this nature. A11 for matrix A plus B11 for matrix B. So A12 plus B12, A21 plus B21, A22 plus B22. For this case, that we have two by three matrices. So A11 for matrix A is 2 plus 1. We also have negative 4 plus 4. So you have 3 plus negative 2 and 1 plus 3. So adding this up, we have 2 plus 1 gives us 3. Negative 4 plus 4, this is 0. 3 plus minus 2, that is 1. And 1 plus 3 will give us 4. So and there you have it. We have the addition of matrix A and matrix B. So the same way, we are going to perform A minus B. I'll be writing out the formula in this case. So to perform A minus B, we simply take them element wise. So A minus B, I have 2 minus 1, negative 4 minus 4. We have 3 minus negative 2 and 1 minus 3. So finding the solution to this, 2 minus 1 gives me 1, negative 4 minus 4, that's going to be negative 8. 3 minus minus 2, that's going to be 3 plus 2, and that will give me 5. And 1 minus 3 will give negative 2. So, and there you have it, the subtraction of B from A. So, lastly, we look at B minus A, and we see that this is quite different from A minus B. So, to get B minus A, so in this case, I'm going to be taking the element of B first, and then I'll subtract element of A from that. So scrolling back up to check what we have in our matrix, it's going to be, in this case, 1 minus 2, 4 minus minus 4, minus 2 minus 3, and 3 minus 1. So quickly, I have 1 minus 2, I have minus 4, minus 4, I have negative 2, minus 3, and I have 3 minus 1. So this is going to be... 1 minus 2 is going to give me minus 1. Negative 4. Mm, let me check. I think there's a mistake here. Eh? Okay, I have 4 minus minus 4. Okay, this is wrong. It's supposed to be 4 minus negative 4. So 4 minus negative 4, that's going to be 4 plus 4. Give me 8. And negative 2 minus 3, I have minus 5. And 3 minus 1, I have 2. So there you have it, the suppression of A from B. And if you check closely, this is the answer to the question A minus B. And this is the answer to the question B minus A. So you can see that the suppression of two matrices is not commutative. So A minus B is not equal to B minus A. If you check closely, you can try to check this yourself and check if A plus B equal to A, B plus A. Check if this is equal on your own. So, but take note that A minus B equal to B minus, it's not equal to B minus A. So, that's simply how you can perform the addition and suppression of matrices. Next tutorial, we move into multiplication. We look at how you can multiply matrices by a scalar. And now we can multiply matrices by matrices. Thank you. And I've seen it in this tutorial.